Hello, everybody. Hi. So, how many of you work for the man? <laughs> <laughs> how many have been? How many of you have been the unlucky recipient of gossip and then passed over for promotions? I am here to talk about three of the most important lessons that I've learned in my professional life, in my career. So you may ask yourself, well, why do I care? You know, I mean, this is Luann. This is Luann. Why would I even care about what happened to her? Well, I think that um, I can provide the possibility to, um, and the opportunity for you to learn from my mistakes and prevent some heartache and embarrassment um, along the way in your professional career. So the first lesson that I learned, and it was a very hard lesson for me to learn, was how to be humble. Yes, I am a very, or can be a very arrogant person. You can be very cool way, I know way. Um, yeah, well, it stems from being insecure. And um, I, can, I tend to be a very insecure person. And also, when I'm doing a really good job, and I know I'm doing a really good job, I tend to brag a lot. I'm a bragger. So what has happened to me in my experience is that I go home in the evening and I reflect on my day. I'm one of those types of people that as I'm winding down for the day and I just, I just kind of look back and go, you know, how, what kind of person am I really truly going to be today? Or what did I train myself as today? And on those days where I find myself to be a braggart, I am very, I'm very embarrassed for myself. I can't imagine what anybody else is thinking about me, but for me personally, looking at my own life and looking how I conducted myself that day, I'm very embarrassed for myself. And, and also, I've learned Murphy's Law will always come and bite you. Whatever can go wrong, will go wrong. So the very next day, something will happen, a mistake is being made, I've been viewed as less than perfect, and I have to eat my crow. I have to sit there and go, you know, I'm not the bee's knees. I'm not the end all and be all of what I do. And it's just a very humbling experience. It's very, you know, and it, you have to really look at yourself and say, you know, how am I portraying myself? I don't want to portray myself as an arrogant, egotistical person. I'd rather be a humble person. And arrogance is not an attractive trait in people. So I've learned that humility and being humble is the way to go. My second lesson is that personal life is just that. It's personal. It doesn't belong in the workplace. For one, it keeps your gossip at bay. People love to talk. Everyone else and everybody else's business in the corporate world, it seems like. Um, I don't know about you, but I do not like being talked about behind my back. And I don't like to be the topic of gossip. And gossip can be a very negative thing in the workplace. It destroys lives. And so, uh, additionally, gossip and these types of talks uh, can also portray you as a drama queen. If you're constantly talking about your personal life, and unfortunately, if you're one of those types of people that have a lot of personal issues, you can be perceived as a drama queen or king. And it's not one of those things that you would want yourself perceived as. Certain people thrive on these types of dramas, and they will use it against you later. My third lesson that I would like to um, encourage is uh, just to keep trying for promotions. As I mentioned in the beginning of my presentation, that um, you know, being passed up for promotions, just keep trying. You know, no matter how much rejection, you have to keep trying. I can't stress that enough. The interview process is a really good way to get practice. It keeps you on your toes, it keeps you on your career path, and it keeps you focused on your goals. So, because in the interview process, these are all questions that they talk about when you're interviewing. So it's always a good thing to go ahead and apply for positions, even if you feel you may be a little underqualified, just to get some practice so that you can get feedback when you get to your next interview. They can explain to you what you need to work on, what you need to improve on, and then you can go ahead and implement those on the next time that you interview. As the old adage goes, practice makes perfect. So my, um, that's pretty much all I really had for you guys today. I hope my lessons were insightful and helpful to you. Learning to be humble, keeping personal life out of work, 
and uh, to keep trying for promotions are the most valuable things that I have learned in my professional life. It's helped me develop, build a really solid reputation with my company, and I'm regarded as a go-to person at my, uh, for my team. It's one of the most cherished positions I have. I, I'd rather have that than be a manager of my company. So, and that's it. Thank Good you very job. much.